Introducing the all-new Italian range of pizza. Mmm, pizza ultimo. Pizza hot. On to one of our headline-making stories tonight. The number of patients that has contracted the dengue virus has increased in Colombo in comparison with the last two years. According to data from the Epidemiology Unit, the highest number of dengue patients are being reported each year from the Colombo district. Three dengue-related deaths were reported from Colombo over the past five months. 13,675 dengue patients were reported in the island in the first five months of this year, of which 3,506 cases were reported from the Colombo district. 1,776 people have contracted the dengue virus in the Kurunagala district, while 1,523 dengue cases were reported from the Gampaha district. Therefore, it is evident that the highest number of dengue patients has been reported from Colombo so far this year. When considering the frequency of dengue cases being reported over the past few years, a decline in the number of cases can be seen in May, although the deadly virus raises its head once again during June and July due to the rainy weather conditions. Why has it been difficult to control the spread of dengue despite various dengue eradication programs initiated in Colombo and other districts? When we spray chemicals or when we spray uh, BTI, we don't uh, cover the whole city. We cover only the high-risk areas. Uh, uh, the cost of uh, BTI and other chemicals is enormous, so we cannot afford to spray all the areas regularly. Uh, therefore, what we request uh, the public uh, is uh, to uh, see that no rainwater is collected uh, in their premises or in their gardens, and also to see that the premises is uh, kept clean. The Ministry of Health states that several ministries, including the Ministries of Education, Disaster Management and Defence, have been vested with the responsibility of initiating mosquito eradication campaigns under the Presidential Task Force on the Eradication of Dengue Mosquitoes. However, the Ministry of Health charges that many state institutions have failed to follow instructions. The Ministry warns that if certain institutions maintain an environment conducive for the breeding of mosquitoes, then legal action will be taken against the head of the institution.